वेलकम बैक गाइज होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व लैब नंबर फाइव फ्रॉम एक्स एक्स ई वलरेबिलिटी मॉड्यूल दिस इज अगेन द सर्वर साइड वलरेबिलिटी एंड आई एम टेकिंग दीज लैब्स फ्रॉम वेब सिक्योरिटी अकेडमी फ्रॉम पोर्ट स्विगर एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लैब दिस लिटिल डिस्कलेमर एज ऑलवेज फॉर यू दिस वीडियो एंड इट्स कंटेंट्स आर ओनली फॉर एजुकेशनल एंड अवेयरनेस पर्पज एंड आई डू नॉट सपोर्ट एनी अनएथिकल और इलीगल एक्ट दैट्स बीन सेड लेट सी वॉट वी हैव इन टूडेज लैब so in the previous two labs means the lab number 3 and the lab number 4 we just tested the blind xx e vulnerability by external interaction fine up to now we just tested the blind xx e for the out of band interaction and in this lab we are going to exfiltrate the sensitive data so uh, what actually the scenario is i am going to brief the scenario but you have to uh, read this uh, this explanation this is very very important and if you do not read it or understand it then uh, you will not get the actual scenario and then you will always be confused so the thing is attacker send the request to its own controlled um server right means attacker deliberately enforce the web server target web server to send the request to the attacker control domain and in the attacker control domain attacker serve a malicious dtd so first of all once attacker get any request that has the xml so attacker will put the dtd and a parameter entity and inside this parameter entity attacker will define or ask server target server to go to this url fine then once the server will make this request to this target and this target is attacker controlled and attacker already put a malicious dtd inside his server so the server will see okay there is something uh, i must um, process so server will see okay there is one parameter entity file which contains the file path then it will have the evil uh, entity parameter entity again inside this entity there is one more entity which is exfiltrate and this exfiltrate entity is telling to visit this server with this parameter x which contains the entity file so this file parameter entity will be passed here that has the url uh, to access the etc passwd file and then we will put these parameter entity here evil and exfiltrate so i already open up the lab let's go and i already open up the burp suite now the thing is here you have exploit server and because this is a lab so you can consider this exploit server as your controlled server means the attacker controlled server where you pass the malicious dtd or you, where you serve the malicious dtd to the target server from where you get the request so okay i'm going to open this up to so wherever you need to pass the url for your controlled server you will pass this url and here inside body you will put your malicious dtd so considering that i am a tester of this application and this is my burp proxy fine now i am going to enable the burp proxy on my browser let's just go to any product so i am going to product number 1 we got a hit here and i didn't see anything here there could be a lot of uh, lot of things to test even on this request but we are now focusing on xxe so okay we go further and go to the check stock so once i click on check stock we can see there are 518 units and we get a post request here in the post request i see there is xml so it could be xxe so i just send this request to the repeater i go to the repeater and send the request one more time so 518 that's perfect so now what i will do here i will tell this server uh 
okay so i will tell this server to go to attackers controlled uh, server doc type and inside inside doc type let's say anything let's say test fine and here i need to xxe system and inside system i need to put my exploit server url which is going to be this so i'm gonna copy this and paste it here fine and then i need to specify percentage my parameter entity percentage xxe fine so this will uh, make this server to request to my controlled server right and in my controlled server which is this i am going to uh, write here malicious dtd and the malicious dtd is going to be something like this so to save the time i am copy i am going to copy and paste this so let's go first here i'm going to create it here because to solve the lab we need to read this file so i'm going to copy this and paste it here okay fine copy that come back here and paste that here right so it is just going to serve the uh, malicious dtd entities and the thing is here instead of uh, this uh, webattacker.com i am going to put the burp collaborator so come to the burp suite go to the burp burp collaborator client and copy that come back here and just put put that fine so that's it this is it so view exploit okay seems perfect there you have the burp collaborator client subdomain and here in the request you already make that request to send to your controlled server which is exploit server so just hit send and xml parsing error that's okay perfect now go to the burp collaborator client pull now and yeah we got the dns request we got uh, here it is going to look up for the a record of this domain and this is the dns query then it is going to send the http request so this is the http request go to the request to collaborator and here you have the data exfiltrated data sensitive data and what data you ask to exfiltrate is etc host name that means the server host name is is this so just copy that and go back here go up submit solution and just paste that click ok and congratulations you solved the lab i hope you understand it it is a bit uh, uh, complex if you are uh, new to this but once you understand it will be easy picture for you so see you in the next video if you have any query please put your query in the comment section i will try to resolve it as soon as possible see you in the next video bye